Is there any link at all to um, if you were to become pregnant later, all of those hormones that are going on, and like you said, when um, it's not the progesterone. What is it that you have right before premenstrual? When you're well, it is it? Pro yeah, it, it is the progesterone, Eva. Yeah. So when all of those things are overly activated in your body because of a pregnancy, does any is there any link to pregnancy and a recurrence of breast cancer because you've got all of that hormone imbal you know going crazy in your body? Yep. Yeah. That's the you you you've nailed it. That's the major concern that all of us have. Uh, we kind of hold our breath on, on some of these. And again, it depends on the initial stage of the cancer. It depends on the initial type of the cancer. Um, yeah, it depends on a lot of factors. Uh, this is why, Eva, what we emphasize constantly here at Breast Cancer Answers is working with a high-end multidisciplinary team. Uh, there where you are in L.A., we've got wonderful centers at at Cedars, at UCLA, at USC, uh, who've got the full galaxy of physicians needed to give that kind of advice. Where I thought the question you were going to ask was, does is having children later, your firstborn in your 30s, increase your risk for breast cancer? And the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. My two daughters, my two daughters were both in their 30s. Uh, when they had their first uh, their first children, uh, and so the other thing that we've worried about, and again the evidence is not conclusive at all, are women undergoing in vitro fertilization, because you talk about hormone stimulation. Wow, the hormone stimulation you get for in vitro fertilization is really big, and particularly if you've been through several cycles of it. You know, ding, ding, here I am, in vitro, 11-year-old triplets, everybody. Right, oh, Dr. Arnest? Really? Oh, yeah. Lisa, I had a little. I so did, I did. And a breast cancer survivor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Oh, well, thank you. But, no, Dr. Harness, exactly what you said with the, the in vitro, because, you know, when the doctor wants to take over the cycle and they are giving you the progesterone and all the other drugs to stimulate the ovaries so that in the follicles so that we can you know, make this happen, and between that and, sure enough, I had the triplets right when I turned 35, so th those yep. are two strikes for me, yay for yep. me. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.